What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview tutorial of the customer.io platform and what it can do to help you grow your business. So customer.io is a tool or a platform that you can use to automate interactions and communications with your customers with various tools and useful options. So first of all, you need to go to their website, that's customer.io and you'll land on their homepage right here where you can see some glimpse of the features of the platform and what it can do to you. So they do tell you that you can manage and tailor customer messages within one unified platform. That's of course their platform. And they have three sections, three main sections, the journeys where you can craft and automate messages with unmatched flexibility and customizations to better communicate with your customers. The data pipeline where you can collect and route your first party data to all the tools you can use to drive growth. So you can integrate multiple tools with customer.io. We'll see that in a minute. And you also have Parcel where you can code, preview, and collaborate using the development platform designed for email marketing. And they tell you that they are trusted by over 7,000 brands, many of which are pretty popular. I can see here Notion, uh, Buffer, and other platforms. And here they show you even more options. You can create distinctive customer experience across mobile and web with email marketing, push in app and SMS tools. So you can communicate with your customers with lots of ways. Here you get a glimpse of the visual workflow builder and the omni-channel support, as well as the parcel code editor, the analytics and conversion goal tools, as well as the testing. Now, you can also integrate your pipeline with lots of uh, other or third party uh, platforms, including as here, you can see here, uh, Slack, Adobe, Salesforce, and other tools here. So uh, that's pretty much it, as well as some numbers, some statistics, and that's pretty much it. Now, let's take a look at their pricing pretty quickly. So if you go to pricing here, you can see that they have two types of plan, the journeys and the data pipelines. So for the journeys, you have the essentials, which is for or starts at $100 per month billed monthly and the premium, which starts at $1,000 per month billed yearly. And you can book a demo for the premium plan as well as the enterprise plan, which you need to talk to sales in order to enable it. So here you can compare the benefits of each plan to know which one is best suited for you. Now for the data pipelines, you have the starter plan, which is free and the premium plan, which starts at a thousand dollars monthly billed yearly. Of course, here you can compare the features of each plan as you can see. Now let's start here a free trial. Of course you can sign in if you already have an account. However, we are going to start a free trial right here. So click on free trial. And now I need to add my first name, last name and email. So I'm going to add this uh, info pretty quickly. Okay, next step. Now for the company, let's say how to simple and the work phone is optional, but you can add it if you want to. Number of employees, let's me say one to 10. The data center is in United States. Okay, of course you can choose Europe if it's yours. Continue. Now, what kind of work do you do? Let's say I'm in the marketing business. Okay, what's your primary messaging goal? let's say onboard or retain customers. Okay, next. Which channels do you use? Let's say I'm using email right now, or if I'm using Slack to communicate with my customer as the main method. Uh, for this, I'll just choose email. Okay. Have you ever used a messaging automation tool before? No, this is my first time. Okay. Will you be the one connecting your data to customer.io? Yes. And then I'm redirected to my account right here. So as you can see, I need some other steps to completely finish my account. I already created it. I need to add people, need to uh, add my teammates, create my first message, set up messaging channel, email, and send my messages. So here is the setup guide and I'm on like my homepage. So here, this is the journeys section. As we saw, there are two sections, the journeys and the data pipeline. If I go to data pipeline, I can start, uh, get started building it. So we are going to do so in a minute. Let's go back to journeys and see what we have here. 
Now, you have a video here that uh, introduces you to journeys. If you want to learn more, you can go ahead and watch it. This is my main dashboard that I'm on. Now, I have analysis right here where I can view all my analytics reports and insights. Of course, there are nothing to show or there are no data and nothing to show here because this is a newly created account. I can view the analysis uh, related to or for campaigns, newsletters, API trigger broadcasts and transactional API. As you can see here, of course, there are nothing to show. Now here I have campaigns. I can build unique customer interactions across mobile and web through channels like as we, we saw email, push, in-app and SMS. So uh, if I click on create campaign, I can create from scratch or I can re-engage inactive users, order confirmation. So here I can choose my like template or starting place and start editing it if I want to. So let's say order confirmation. And as you can see here, this is the trigger if the customer clicks on purchase. I need here, they'll update the order count. And then thank you for the purchase. And then if it's the first purchase, true or false. So you have here your entire uh, workflow to edit. You can edit the trigger and the steps. Now let's go back here. I have broadcasts where I can create a new newsletter or view my own newsletters here or create a new broadcast. So let's create a new broadcast. Let's name it, for example, test if it's newsletter or message triggered via API and then create the broadcast right here and then choose the broadcast type if it's a newsletter or messages triggered via API. So I'll choose newsletter. OK, create. And the broadcast is now created. Now I need to finish adding all these steps here. So uh, who should receive this newsletter? People matching conditions or everyone in workspace. So let's say people matching conditions and continue the other steps needed in order to continue the broadcast. So here I have transactional. OK, I need to discard changes. Transactional API. Uh, I can start here for sending my first message. Here I have deliveries and draft where I can view all my delivered messages and all my drafts right here. And I can export them as well to a CSV file. Here I have the people. Of course, there is only myself right now. I can filter by email address or conditions and I can export people to a CSV file or add people here, add a person manually or import a CSV file with all my contacts. So to add a person, I can add their, their ID, email, uh, other attributes and create here the people or the person. Now, next we have custom objects. I can create a custom object type here. So to connect all my data in one place. Next, we have segments. I can view all my segments here that I uh, created. These are sample, of course, that are generated for me uh, by the platform to let me know how to interact with them and how they look like. And I can create a new segment from here. So here I can add the name, the description. I can add tag, choose segment type if it's data driven or manual and finish creating the segment. Here I have my activity logs. Of course, there is nothing to show. Uh, only some the steps that I made the person created of course this is myself and the attribute change for the segment that we were creating next we have data and integrations I can choose the data index or view the integration so let me see the integrations here pretty quickly let me show them to you and I can view all the integrations right here all the tools that integrate with customer.io and choose the integration if it's for data in or data out. So controlling my workflow as I want. Now, the next section is the data pipelines. If I go to it, click on get started. I can start setting up the data pipelines for work. Now, uh, do, you have, do you use a customer data platform or a CPD today? No. Continue. My primary goal is to just check it out. And I can skip these questions if I want to. And now I have the data pipelines. I'm on my main dashboard here for data pipelines, which can show the general information and updates. I can view here the connections, all the connections that I have. I can view the sources, destinations, as well as the catalog. Of course, uh, all the CRM, website, mobile, so all the catalogs of the services that I do have. And then the privacy settings. Now, that was pretty much it, a quick walkthrough or overview of the customer.io, a customer communication automation platform and its different features and benefits.